People aren't going outside because it's so hot. Every year it feels like it's getting hotter. My name is Catherine Garcia and I'm the executive and artistic director of Live Arts Miami at Miami-Dade College. And I have the privilege of working with an incredible team of creative professionals to realize our mission. And that is to empower artists, students, and audiences to cultivate positive change in our community through transformative programs and performances in the live arts. My name is Sandra Portal Andreu. I'm a multidisciplinary artist with a focus in dance and theater. I'm an educator and a mother. Circa and Mia really all came about um, through conversations that my husband and I had. And so um, the first part of the project, which is Circa the film, I interviewed 37 children throughout Miami-Dade County, and I asked them simple questions like, you know, what do you know about climate change? How do you feel about it? And, and perhaps what are some solutions that they could offer? And so through those conversations, I also asked them to create artwork, which was then um, animated by fellow MDC Magic uh, graduate, Brenna Werner. And it was also accompanied by a score created uh, by Afro Beta. Well, I first became involved with this project when department chairperson of Magic, Mauricio Ferraza, referred me to Sandra because he was familiar with my animation work, uh, being a former student of the Magic program, and he was confident that I could help Sandra bring her vision to life. There was a lot of kind of grim imagery, like about the extinction of animals or the planet overheating or there being a lot of pollution, but it was very important to Sandra and I to end on a very hopeful note. Um, so, of course, we were made sure to highlight all the beautiful flora and fauna that Miami is famous for and that there is hope for the future if we start making small changes in our everyday lives. Mia was a fascinating performance to stage. The choreographer Sandra Portal and Drew designed this as an immersive experience for our audience. Um, which presented an amazing opportunity for the audience to experience this all around them in a 360 setting, um, which is quite different than you would find um, if you were viewing this show in a traditional proscenium style theater. We worked closely with Sandra to uh, design lighting and projection mapping that would um, bring this sort of immersive experience closer to our audience and make them feel elevated and entranced by um, all the art that was happening around them. I've been friends with um, Kusi and Tony, who make up Afro Beta for a, a really long time. Kusi and I actually went to college together. And, um, you know, through the years, we've supported each other in projects. And we've always had this conversation of like, we want to do something together. Um, but the project wasn't initially there. And when I got this opportunity with Lala and Eco Cultura, I thought, this would be the perfect project to bring them on because it is a Miami-based, Miami-driven, engaged community work. And I felt like the music that needed to go into the film and into the performance really need to have that authentic Miami sound. The Lala Performance Series is the capstone to our annual artist in residency program of the same name. Lala stands for the Live Arts Lab Alliance. And its purpose really is to support the creative process of local artists and the development of new work. So the audience was fantastic. They were so generous, so open. Um, we were, were really uh, overwhelmed by the positive responses that we got from not just the audience members, but, but families and children that participated in the project. Um, I myself uh, just was really happy to be part of the process and really per like performing in there and, and really moving among the people. Um, I think for many people this was the first time that they were out in a live performance as well. So there was this sense of like, like a collective communal breath 
and, and it was very positive. Live Arts Miami. Your stage. Your stage. Your stage. Your stage for creating change.
2050. It feels like we're getting closer to the sun.
Anytime you hear the audience applaud, whether you're a performer on stage or a producer backstage, you, it's a thrill. And all the work that you've put into it, um, it makes it all worthwhile. I just want to say thank you again to Live Arts Miami and MDC uh, for providing artists like myself the opportunity to create these works that I think are just very important for the community and also to support local artists, I think is a really important thing. Um, I want to thank the Perez Art Museum to that, that gave us uh, a weekend to show the film in their space. I know for a lot of children, this was a really um, impressionable moment for them uh, to see their work in such a large institution. And all my collaborators, my dancers, Afro Beta, Bre Brenna, who this work probably wouldn't have it been made possible if it wasn't for her animation. Um, Sean was here as well. And, and yeah, just uh, the, the public that, that came that evening and uh, took a chance and supported live performance. When I look back on these performance, honestly, I'm incredibly proud because we were able to create something new on a scale that audiences in Miami rarely get to enjoy. And that's free outdoor performances that really reinvent public space that invigorate our sense of community and that empower us to think about coalition as we fight to save the planet.